Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Hooks and we are here with Press Pass LA getting ready to preview the 67th Annual Emmy Awards Governor's Ball. We're actually standing in the winner's circle right now where you can see some of the Emmys are behind me. Uh, but we're going to take a look around the event and maybe talk to some of the people that put it on. See you soon. So we're here with Press Pass LA with Cheryl Chiquetto. The oh, event, very good. Yeah, very good. Yes, I knew I'd get it right. Uh, you are the event producer here with Sequoia Productions for the Primetime Emmys. Uh, we're actually standing right now in the winner's circle, where yes. all the people that win Emmys this year can come and get their Emmys engraved. That is correct. We, I will never stand here again because I'm going to watch it from a distance because one of my staff, Heather Foster, actually manages this. So the winners will come right down that white carpet. They'll come in here with one guest. They'll have their Emmy and they'll be personalized. They will leave this circle not only with an Emmy with their name on it, but to the left is the Penfolds Bar where they'll be given a fantastic, personalized, beautiful engraved box by Penfolds, so both hands are going to be <laughs> occupied. <laughs> Wine and an Emmy, which one do you take first? Oh, I think they're going to take the Emmy first, but the wine's going to be a magnificent gift for them to leave because it is only for the winners. But uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to this. I mean, this is such an incredible spot to be, and it's very, very exciting. The buzz is nonstop. They're walking into this magnificent, spectacular environment. They're going to see 20 waiters lined up with white gowns and white tuxes, with glasses of champagne, the Emmy Patron cocktail, the Penfolds glass of wine, and the orchestra is going to be performing and it's just going to be so beautiful. It's the official Emmy after party, hosted by the governors of the Television Academy. All television industry is going to be here Sunday night step out celebrating. Welcome to D Lynn from Penfolds Wine. Uh, this is the official gift that the people that win Emmys receive after they receive their Emmy. So tell us a little bit about it. Absolutely. Well, each and every single winner of an Emmy on this evening will receive our commemorative Bin 389. This is a okay. 2012 vintage. This is a wine that we first crafted in 1960. Oh, wow. Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz blend. It's aged in American oak. It's elegant. It's bold. It's got ripe black and ripe red fruit characteristics. A bit of mocha, a bit of chocolate, That's a bit amazing. of cedar. It's an incredible wine. But the beauty about this original wooden case that we had handcrafted to commemorate this special evening, the winner's name will be emblazoned right across the front of this case. And of course, as you slide this up, you will see the Bin 389 from 2012, a wine wow. we affectionately call Baby Grange. An incredible, incredible wine. This wine will last 35, 40 years if you put it into your cellar. But I implore each and every one of the Emmy winners to drink this bottle. Drink it sooner rather than later? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. We're so, continuing to take a look behind the scenes of what it takes to set up the Governor's Ball here for the 67th Annual Emmy Awards. I'm with Erica from Cellar Door Chocolatiers. This is your second year covering the Emmys and providing chocolates for the event. Tell me what it takes to actually make that happen? Well, first it starts with the greatest employees making the greatest chocolates, and they make 40,000 pieces in four days. Wow. Yeah, and then Christina and I, we spend three days driving out here. So we drive out 2,000 pounds of chocolate. So that's roughly 40,000 pieces. 2,000 pounds of chocolate. I want to ride with your car. I bet that that's probably like the best carpool ride ever, right? It is. We have tons of snacks in the front seat and like a lot of chocolate in the back. Yeah, yeah. chocolate. You have lots and lots of chocolate. So, and then with the event this year, what kind of chocolate will the people expect to receive? So this year, it's a little not plain, but it's a little simpler. So we have solid chocolates and we have truffles. Which they're delicious and amazing. I actually had some before you came over here. I was I got the box from you guys and I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this right now. So I ate the entire box already. So I will probably be back for another box. What's your favorite chocolate that you're serving this year? It's the the sea salt truffle that you had. My favorite as well. Yes, and the chewy caramel. So good. Did you have that? It's possible. Was it in the box? No, it was in a little like wrapper. I'll get you one. I, I saw the wrappers. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back by your table and make sure that I have that. Sounds good. Excellent. Sounds we are here taking a look behind the 67th annual Emmy Award Governor's Ball with Ed from Patron, talking about the official Emmy cocktail, little Patron Margarita, right? It's called the cucumber margarita. It's a little theme on um, summer and health. And um, well, you know what? I'll make one for you. Tell us. Yeah, that's a winner. We'll be back for more of these here very soon. Now, when you're coming to an event like the Emmys and you're putting together a menu, what kind of process goes into making the menu? And what, what, what kind of thoughts do you have or how do you start when you start creating this menu? We usually start um, two days after the last Emmys. 
uh, the day the, the day after the Emmys is usually uh, tequila on the beach, and then uh, the day after that we look at what's what's going to be available. Now last year the Emmys was in August, so we were looking at we were looking at everything that's available in August, and this year it's in September, so we're going into early fall fruits and vegetables, and that's how we start. We get we start in uh, this big I have this big poster board in my office with everything that's available at that time of the year, and then I start working together compositions and interesting flavors and things that I think would work really well. Um, then about February they give us the theme of the event and then we try to incorporate the, the theme but generally it's mainly market driven by what's available that time of year. As is all seasonal, I think, chef driven restaurants, they find what they can get and what they can serve. Now with this event, this is a very, very big event. There's a lot of important people here. And it's a, I'm sure it's a huge event for Patina. What, what kind of process or what does it take for you guys to feed all these people in a timely manner? Um, it takes 215 chefs in the kitchen. And uh, I do have a little trick. Uh, what I do is I wait till the last minute to cook most everything. And that is the way to do a very large event. Uh, because if you wait to the last minute to cook everything, everything's freshly cooked. Um, and then the battle's, the battle's half won right there. All right, everyone. We've had a great time here with Press Pass LA enjoying the Governor's Ball. I've got my Emmy Award. Now I'm going to go enjoy my dinner. We'll see you next time.